if you're a man watching this, you're not alone. You know, you're not alone. And and it's it's very easy to get into that headspace and think that you're you belong in this sort of solitary state. You don't. Uh, I was about to go on a run, and I read a, a uh, an email that came through um, from YouTube that saying someone commented on a video of mine. This guy uh, wrote, "Are you lonely, man? For me, you defiantly, definitely, representing the lost generation of lonely men that I have been hearing about lately." Salsa w watched my video about <laughs> me recording myself eating Indian food, you know, and being. Uh, I guess alone in that moment and felt like maybe I was um, uh, alone or lonely. And I have to say, I admire straightforward questions. I think they're great. Love straightforward questions. Love people who cut through the bullshit and just go straight to the, the heart of the matter. Um, now, if you watched the rest of the video, then he would see that I commented on like why it was made in the first place, but that's besides the point. But it made me think like, do I convey the aura of loneliness. And for me, I don't feel lonely. So I know that in my creation and my creating of these videos for myself, uh, I don't feel alone. I don't feel lonely. Um, now I'm in New York. It's February. People don't want to go outside as much. It's kind of a lonely city at times. The bigger question, I think, has less to do with me. I think it has more to do with society at large, because there is something very dangerous about the solitary man, okay? Now, in this case, when, I'm, when I hear him say lost generation of men um, that he's been hearing about, I think of the guy who lives in his parents' basement who plays with guns and writes manifestos. Look, there are, time, there are times when I feel lonely. There are times when all of us as humans feel some sort of unwelcomed solitude, the kind of solitude where you're like, ooh, am I known? Am I loved? Do people care for me? That's pretty normal, I feel like, to go through those ebbs and flows of how do I feel. But when I think of what he's talking about, I think of a very different type of person, a very different type of man who is in that solitary state. I think generally it applies more to men than women, I will say, because um, I feel like the, the, the more maternal side of women are, are better at communing with others. Um, men can, and it's very taboo to talk about, I feel like for a lot of men, but men can kind of go so inward um, that they are not capable of then, of then going outward and, uh, and, and belonging to a greater sense of community. It's a very real thing. It's a very dangerous thing, in my opinion. You belong out in the world. You belong among other people, communing with others. And... Um, and just know that like, there's no shame in feeling solitude or solitary. Just know that you're not alone. I say that as someone who has struggled with anxiety for a very long time. Fortunately, I haven't had any episodes in, in a, you know, a number of years. I'm very, very grateful for that. But a lot of solitude and solitary feelings can produce feelings of anxiety and depression. And so um, yeah, the, the larger picture here is that like, you're not alone. I feel like this was an important thing to talk about. So it warranted me just letting this, this feeling and this emotion out. So, um, yeah, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're a human being. You belong. New study explains why some single men are having a hard time finding a new partner. Okay, so this is all according to a study. One reason, men now make up 62% of dating app users, which reduces their chances of making a match. According to the Psychology Today study, women have plenty of men to choose from, so they're most like, more likely to ghost someone. Another factor is women putting their foot down for better relationship standards. They're looking for someone who is emotionally available, a good communicator, shares similar values. A third factor is a skills deficit. Study claims many young men are not being taught early how to treat women correctly at home. I agree with All you. of that makes sense. I, I, th I think I see what this guy is, is, uh, is referring to. I guess I just wasn't as 
aware that it was like this uh this study that was done and um and you know there's like this horde of men that that can't find a partner or a date so the guy was so he was not off he was not wrong there this is clearly a thing i just didn't know it was a thing i do think that dating apps though make it difficult because there is such a such a swath of people to choose from that and i think the pickiness is getting more and more and so it it's so much easier to just be like oh well there's this one thing that's wrong about him so therefore it's not going to work and then they'll ghost or cancel or whatever um but yeah it's so interesting i didn't know that that was actually a thing it ma- makes a lot more sense it's weird that maybe you would watch a like someone would watch a video and then comment that um you know i'm i'm one of i'm one of those because i don't feel like (laughs) who knows maybe me eating indian food by myself conveys being lost and lonely but i don't know it doesn't seem like that or i'm delusional it's a possibility uh but some of that's true i think it's important to admit because the moment that you admit something like that and and you kind of come to terms with um with with how you're really feeling then then you can actually start doing the work of like figuring out how to find some sort of a solution to that problem. Um, I know for me in particular, like, yeah, I definitely want to find a partner. I think that's super important. Um, I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I find myself like getting frustrated for stupid things. And I'm like, oh my God, it'd be really great to have a a woman in my life, a companion who could like, you know, um, just talk to me about, I can talk to you about certain things, but Anyway, so interesting. That's all I have to say tonight. Love you. See you later.